All right, everybody. Welcome to the OEC. This is Signet. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about taking the trade. I've been hearing from people lately that they they get to a spot where they can recognize the trade, they can see the setup, and they are afraid to pull the trigger, and they just sit and watch the market do what it is they thought it was going to do. And there's a little reason for this that might just be escaping you because of how simple it is. And the the reason, as as simple as it is, can really be debilitating and, and holds you back from taking some really great trades. You're trading too big. If you're scared of the trade, if you're unsure and it looks right, and everything is there, all the conditions are met, you can see exactly what the trade is, and you're scared to pull the trigger, then it's more than likely because you're trading too big. There's a couple of ways to get past this, and it, it doesn't just involve reducing the, the position size. Go back and look at previous examples. Take a good picture of what it is that you're trying to trade, the setup, the strategy, the entry conditions, whatever it is, and print those or put that picture somewhere where you can look at it often so that when when the setup comes along later on, you can refer to that picture and say, look, this is exactly what I'm looking for. This is what I've been sitting here waiting to find. There it is. Let me take the trade. The second thing is, trade it on paper. You should never be afraid to take the trade in paper. It doesn't hurt. It's not going to uh, cost you anything. Nobody wants to lose, and even on paper, I don't like it. I do treat my paper account like a real account. I treat that money like it's real money. But at the end of the day, I can reset that account. It doesn't cost me anything. I need experience, whether I'm working on a new setup, a new strategy, some technique, whatever it is that I'm working on in paper, I need to do it. I do those trades. So get familiar taking the trade of doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. When you go live, if the trade is too big and you're afraid to pull the trigger, step back. If you can't take it in the ES, Take it in the MES. If you can't take it in the NQ, take it in the MNQ. A micro trade like the MNQ is $2. $2. So if you're wrong, if you're absolutely completely wrong and you pull the trigger and the trade goes bad, your two-point stop is going to kick you out of that trade and you've lost $4. $4. Where is the fear there? I don't I don't understand, right? So if you're looking at a position and you're getting ready to get into the market and you pause scared, something's wrong. Either your stop is too big, you're unfamiliar with the trade strategy, or you're trading too big of a product. There is no way to get around this except from doing it. You need to continue to do it again and again and again. And if you have to step back from a live account and go back to paper and start over again, you should. Now, that's another thing I hear a lot from people is, I'm leaving paper, I'm going live. Guys, I've been doing this now since the micros came out, and I still trade paper. I've never left. I'm constantly, always working on something in paper. Now, yeah, I do trade live. But I continue to trade on paper all the time, testing tactic and theory and setups and different ways to scale in or scale out. I'm constantly focused on improving something. So try to get away from this idea that you're going to be able to leave paper and, and never go back. Maybe. Maybe if you just have one trade and you perfect that one trade and you never try to uh, do anything different, 
then maybe you could be that person that leaves paper and never goes back. But if you want to build your own strategies and tactics and setups, you're going to need paper to be able to perform those various tactics to grow as a trader. So that's it, guys. I just I wanted to do a short video. I'm testing on a, a Bluetooth device. Uh, but I also wanted to address that. I, I, I've been hearing that a lot lately from uh, a number of students. So don't feel singled out if you're one of those who has said that you're just really scared about pulling the trigger right now. It is a very hard market to trade. There is absolutely no doubt about that. We are in unusual times. Market conditions that are unprecedented, that's never been seen before and has wiped out major firms on Wall Street in the last three months. You're learning in the most harsh conditions imaginable. So there is that. But at the end of the day, if you're looking at your trade and you can see everything there and you don't pull the trigger because you're scared, then it's most likely one of the things we've already addressed, and there is a way to solve that. You do need to solve this. You have to get past it somehow. So guys, I appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you at the next video.